Well, good morning, and welcome to Live, Die, Survive. I'm the host, Harvey Hill. Well, what is it, 9 o'clock in the morning? Sun's out. It is absolutely a gorgeous day. It's 44 degrees. It's rather cool today, but, you know, that's fine. I am going to leave you a snippet of Ben's report today. This is something I believe in very strongly, and I'll tell you why. I believe in hail is going to get very bad. That's one concern. And the other thing is going to be cosmic rays in airplanes. So it's going to get really, really bad. Now, I had a friend named Irv Gordon. And you can type in Irv Gordon. Uh, he had um, a Volvo with uh, almost 4, 000, no, 4 million miles. Uh, so type in, please type in Irv Gordon. I know Irv now since I've been 18. He passed away about four months ago, five months ago. And um, Irv is and always will be to me a great man. And I'm 60 now. And I knew him since I was 18, 19 years old. Drove in that Volvo, man, I probably helped him do a half a million miles. We went to Pennsylvania to car shows together. Um, let's see. Um, Playboy Club in New York City. We lived in Long Island, so New York City was a nice drive. Um, just what a great man. Um, but anyway, um, the reason why I believe in Cosmic Rays, and I talked to him. I wish I would have talked to the man a little bit more than I did. Kind of lost touch, but he always called me kiddo. And I talked to Gene. I said, why do you always call me kiddo? Well, you have to, Gene said, you have to remember, he knows you since you're a kid. I said, you know, that's right. Um, but anyway, uh, to the last time I talked to him, he said, um, how you doing, Irv? And he says, my car is doing a lot better than I am. And um, sorry I didn't pick up on that. But he was flying to China. He, he loved to fly. Um, sorry, guys. My head cold. My nose is bad. Anyway, um, he was flying to China, and he passed away on the plane going to China. Now, his daughter says something else. Trust me, guys. The day he passed away, he was on the plane going to China. He wasn't driving. But anyway, I'm going to give you a snippet of Ben's report. Now, I leave bread club crubs. You can listen to Ben's report. Please watch it, uh, especially if you fly. It just be aware. And um, you guys have a wonderful day. And, um, and, um, <laughs> I'm just listening to the birds. Sorry, guys. You know, I do everything live. I don't cut and paste my videos. And anyway, Irv, you out there? This is kiddo thinking of you. And anyway, here comes Ben on something I would like you to watch. Something I believe in. Now, granted, you could go take a walk and get hit by a bus. I realize that. But... Just be aware of things happening in the earth. You guys take care. Here comes Ben, and thank you for watching.
live, die, survive. States tonight. Interesting paper out about the radiation dose to airplanes in the September 2017 major solar flares. While the total dose radiation was only about 10% of the scary levels, total dose is only one of the concerns from cosmic energy. The other just takes one particle. A cosmic ray nucleus, the cascading muons and neutrons, those indeed have the ability to break DNA. This is different from organ failure due to total dose, and it can begin cancerous processes, again, with just one particle. There's a reason most of you have the Disaster Prediction app already. It is the only space weather health alerts on Earth. It's got all the normal space weather alerts in real time, as well as the earthquake information, too. I want to quickly hit this Comet Impactor story from UCSB. They want to put evidence of an impactor 12,000 years ago or so.